Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, everyone present here. It is my proud privilege to warmly welcome our honorable chief guest and vice chancellor, University of Kashmir, Professor Nilo Farhan Sahib. Our guest of honor, Professor S. N. Divedi Ji, Department of Biostatistics, Ames, Delhi. Then second guest of honor, Professor Athar Ali Khan, Department of Statistics and Operation Research, AMU Aligarh. Then <coughs> Registrar Dr. Nisar Ahmad, University of Kashmir. The main objective of this workshop, this workshop aims to improve research skills and competence amongst the researchers via strengthening their theoretical knowledge as well as by giving them hands-on training with R and SPSS on both quantitative and qualitative dimensions. This workshop would start with the basic concept of research methodology, introduction to SPSS, and usage of R programming. The progress on the two advanced statistical analysis, including visualization techniques, attendees will get to develop and strengthen their research and analytical skills on this, these softwares. The paid GOZI will include lecture and session and hands-on exercises with cases and examples in handling, analyzing data. R, the software, is simple programming environment that enables the effective handling of data while providing excellent graphical support. It is the most popular software for data analysis, is extremely flexible, has cutting edge tools containing publication quality graphics, and has 16,000 plus add on package covering all aspects of statistics and boasts of a massive community of active users. The second software, on the other hand, SPSS, is a menu-driven software and is very much popular among social, medical, and biological researchers. We do not have programming backgrounds, so it covers large variety of data, analytical tools, from descriptive and to inferential statistics. So I would like to say also data analysis has become a defined branch of science that uses an intricate combination of statistics, probability, mathematics, computer science, and biology to model and solve real life problems related to social, medical, and biological sciences. So it, is, it has wide range of application in fields such as public health, nutrition, environmental health, and health services research, economics, psychology, business, and management. The content and character of the discipline of statistics has undergone a radical change during the last few decades. From being a passive and descriptive discipline, statistics has emerged as a vigorous, dynamic, and constructive instrument of decision-making in an area of socio-economic, health, and medical sciences. So job opportunity in statistics, generally the students of statistics are asking what are the opportunity of statistics. So nowadays statistics has a great, greater scope and the job opportunities are very high from lower position to higher position in public and private sectors. The various positions and jobs available for both central and state governments, private establishment, industries, etc. are research officers, statistical officers, statistical investigators, field investigators, system analysts, 
कंसोल ऑपरेटर्स कंप्यूटर ऑपरेटर्स प्रोग्रामर ऑफिसर्स डेटा इंट्री ऑपरेटर्स टीचर फ्रॉम स्कूल लेवल टू हायर लेवल रिसर्चर्स मैनेजमेंट एस्क्यूट्स सिविल सर्वेंट्स एंड स्टेटिस्टिकल सर्विसेज एक्सेट्रा द टॉपिक ऑफ द वर्कशॉप आई शुड कंग्रेचुलेट प्रोफेसर हसन एंड होल ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कमेटी दैट इट इज़ वेरी रिलेवेंट इन दिस एरा स्पेसिफिकली बिकॉज बींग ए रिसर्चर आई कैन टेल यू the data analysis come at a specific stage and a specific stage when i say you collect the data with a specific research question that research question gives you the hypothesis of the study and ultimately that results into the objective of the study and then you continue you develop the scale you um, include the people for data collection and then you manage the data and then you target to appropriately analyze the data that is one component but another area these days is it is emerging data mining big large scale data the data which is not collected with specific objective and i have certain reservation i am very critic for some kind of analysis which is not relevant and when i say that i mean that the data quality is must the statistical analysis is quite important for any sort of research particularly whether it is the economic survey whether it is the economic sociology or statistics itself and uh, particularly now the biostatistics is an important field which is coming up so the role of stat we see that it is quite enormous and it is spread throughout all the subjects at the university of kashmir level we have a department of what anwar sahab has already mentioned that we do have a old department which was carved out from the but most probably it was math and stat first then stat was carved out of the maths and a separate department has come up with its own faculty and with its own infrastructure do i agree as registrar of the university i agree that there is an issue of slight human resource scarcity and the infrastructure issues at at various department not only stat but we try with our within our scarce resources we try to build the infrastructure which is student centric and which is a student which is research scholar centric we have tried to develop uh the particularly our thrust was on the creation establishment of the hostels in the university of kashmir for girls and boys which we have almost now completed a girls hostel is also coming up boys hostels and scholars hostels are also coming up we are creating some infrastructure for residential quarters also but inshallah we will be hopefully in this current financial year or the next financial year we will be inshallah coming up with the academic block few academic blocks at the main campus which will hopefully resolve the issue of infrastructure at different departmental levels vis a vis the human resource aspect university of kashmir as we all know the present uh, financial strength of the department of the university as well as the government at national at the state level uh, there are certain issues for creation of the posts in the university of kashmir and elsewhere also but uh, we have already submitted a proposal to the government of jnk for creation of more human resource in different departments including the statistics department i would like to tell some facts about statistics statistics is a interdisciplinary subject actually you cannot use statistics in a separate heaven you have to be interactive and you know that the father of statistics sir ronald fisher he was as a ug student in 1912 he gave the concept of maximum likelihood estimation and he was offered a position in the university college but he refused to join there and he preferred to join as consultant at rothamsted agricultural station in uk because he wanted to have interaction with the that how data is being generated 
how data is being analyzed and how data is being interpreted and he actually gave the concept of design of experiment there most of the terminologies they were introduced by sir ronald fisher and in the later part of his life he gave ma maximum concept related to inference also so it is it is because of his interactive mind he could develop statistics and he became father of statistics and the next man whom he guided actually in statistics the father of statistics guided only one phd in statistics and he is an indian our c r rao actually the story behind is this that in 1943 isi received a letter from british museum that they were having some skulls african skulls and they wanted to classify them and they wrote to mahalana bees that you send a man as well as technique also and that way c r rao was joined was assigned this job he went to england and he joined with fisher c r rao says some of these stories i could quote that once he sat for the whole night making derivations mathematical derivations in statistical genetics next morning he wanted to show those results to sir ronald fisher sir ronald fisher you know how he reacted he told him no no i will not look into your mathematical derivation go into the field collect some data analyze that data on the basis of the methods available and analyze same data with the methods you have developed you write your comments write your contrast and then you come to me then only i will discuss so this is the real spirit of statistics uh, first of all i congratulate uh, professor anwar and his team for organizing a very important uh, program uh, on uh, training our scholars and uh, students on uh, data analysis using spss and r qualitative and quantitative methods uh, our experts spoke before me uh, but as a researcher and a student uh, i must say that a very important exercise has been taken uh, i wish this type of exercise is being taken for each and every uh, department as professor anwar said uh, that this technique a researcher has to use uh, somewhere in his uh, research and uh, statistics as professor anwar and other speakers said uh, very important for our uh, results and discussion in fact i must say uh, statistics gives life clarity and understanding to uh, the results which we ascertain from our research imagine if Uh, statistical techniques were not there how would we uh, you know put forth our uh, research our uh, registrar also said being a person from sociology he said how important uh, this spss uh, technique is uh, we as researchers do realize it uh, i have with us here our uh, dean applied sciences i request her kindly uh, organize you can get in touch with professor anwar sahab uh, and his team uh, please organize this activity for our home science scholars food technology scholars pharmacy students and uh, i'm not sure whether computer people would like to for everyone uh, and whatever is to be done we'll definitely because we'll do it because i definitely feel there's a need to have this uh, program uh, for other departments also and uh, let professor anwar and his team take a lead in organizing series of such programs for other scholars uh, of our university i am happy that uh, you know uh, all the uh, resource persons uh, who will uh, take the sessions are from you know very important uh, institutes uh, to two of them i listened uh, with their great acumen and uh, i'm sure that it's going to be a very fruitful exercise for uh, all our faculty for our students for our research scholars we look forward to have more such uh, programs uh, in future 
uh, as I said, it's a very important uh, exercise. It is, uh, and uh, I will uh, definitely like to congratulate the department and our resource persons. Uh, thankful to them who have taken all the, uh, you know, trouble to be here and take these sessions.